What's going on everyone? So today I'm heading down to Springs Road Gun Club and we're going to take a look at CAA's MCK, the Gen 2 version of the stabilizer. Give it. So this is the old. That's the old one. That's actually. This was uh, the actual Roni. This is the MCK Gen 2. So let's find out how it does. So I got 15 in each. This little mag release is actually a button on this one, so that's pretty nice. It's locked in you actually have to release it but uh let's uh, see how it does at 10 yards wasn't really aiming a whole lot but not bad for just kind of shooting it all right so yeah i haven't checked out the footage to see how the audio is in that video but uh that was the gen 2 of the mck now someone said that they thought it felt too wide i don't think it felt too wide yeah it's got a little bit of bulk to it for the design but if you're looking for something really and stuff like that, I mean, just use your regular in my opinion. Um, yeah, as far as it goes, it felt good. Um, I'm curious to see if the 43X one, how much shorter it's gonna feel, because they said that they made the unit a little bit slimmer. So I guess, uh, that's something I'll find out soon. The sight that I was using on there, that EOTech was not zeroed in. So that wasn't quite spot on, but once I kind of figured out where it was at, I was able to drill them all into a small hole at about 10 yards. So it was a little bit past 10 yards. But all together, I mean, it felt good. The mag holder on the front felt a lot better in comparison to the uh, previous models how like the magazine instead of retention it was in there with an actual button um i just kept reaching up trying to pull that magazine out without hitting the button because i was used to the retention so but all together i mean the kit's nice i like it i'm excited for the 43x one because it's supposed to be just kind of a slimmed up version of that so 
that ought to be pretty cool. I do wish I would have had the thumb grips on there, uh, the little thumb extensions that were on the original Microroni, because uh, it does help you feel like you get a really solid platform and grabbing it. Um, but all together, I mean, it felt like a pretty solid kit. It didn't feel cheap. It didn't feel like it was just gonna like break. I mean, it, it felt really solid. It felt good. Um, I expected it, some of the photos, sometimes it makes it look like it's kind of like cheap, but it felt nice. I liked it. Um, it's going to be a little bit different with the brace. I haven't seen the SB Tactical brace that they come with for the uh, brace version. That was an SBR version, so that one had a full-on stock on it. Um, but I assume the brace isn't going to be like, the, my Vector 22 had a brace on it and it felt felt fine so I'm assuming it's gonna be something very similar to that and it'll uh, it'll feel fine when you're using it the red dot site that I ordered for mine um, is a much cheaper one so I don't really know uh, how well that's gonna hold zero so I guess that's something I'll probably do a whole nother video about but hopefully it does good um, I mean it was like 40 something dollars so hopefully it does good I mean it looks higher quality than the last one I got. The last one I had that was made by the same company, it held zero with no issues. So I imagine it'll be fine. So I'll do a video on that when it comes in. That's going to come in obviously way sooner than my uh, than my uh, MCK for the 43X. I meant to shoot it with the uh, stock collapse to the side because that was something that they supposedly redid for the uh, Gen 2 that was gonna be better. And I didn't even think about trying it. I wish I would've tried that. So I guess that's something we will do when uh, mine comes in. And obviously with my own, I'm gonna be able to get a lot more range time with it and really dig into it and get some detailed videos going on and fiddle around with a ton of different accessories, see what's good, what's not good. And uh, yeah, but as far as this guy goes, I mean, the, the Gen 2, the complaints that I saw where they said the Gen 1 was better, I don't necessarily think so. I think uh, the Gen 2 felt great. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be everybody's, you know, cup of tea. That's not, not everybody likes that style. It is what it is. I mean, they, it doesn't replace an AR-15. I mean, you're not going to replace on rifle with it but it does make shooting a handgun either you do get more accurate with shooting a handgun and uh it's fun to shoot that's that's my that's why i want one it's not for self-defense so much as it's just really fun to to shoot and i really want to get some higher capacity magazines i guess right now is not the time since ammo prices are through the roof but I do want to get some higher capacity magazines for the uh 43x to put in that kit and uh yeah but it was a good time i had fun with it i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel um i plan to do a 1500 subscriber giveaway and i haven't decided 100 percent what i'm gonna do but i'm very close to that number so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get all in into that so yeah that's what i got for you i hope you guys did enjoy the video i'll catch y'all later